Some of Hollywood's most powerful women have teamed up to launch an initiative aimed at combating sexual harassment inside and outside of their industry after a colossal of accusations were set in motion by the Harvey Weinstein scandal this past year, known as the Time's Up movement. However, Hollywood women are not the only ones combating sexual harassment on a large stage. Maggie Gelson is a current Miss Muscatine within the Miss America organization with the personal mission of spreading awareness on her platform, Stand Up to Sexual Violence, Prevent, Empower, and Support. This past year, she has also created her own nonprofit and clothing line titled Trauma Queens, aimed towards survivors of sexual assault. Trauma Queen's overall mission statement is utilizing movement, mindfulness, and community to take back our bodies and own our own trauma. With it because I had personal experience with sexual violence. So I was assaulted when I was 15, when I was 21. So my platform, um, Stand Up to Sexual Violence, actually originally was directed more at college campuses. So my initiative at first was to really get into college campuses and be able to change legislation so that students were protected under Title IX. That was my main focus, was to keep Title IX protections at schools. Well, once I graduated, I obviously was no longer on the campus setting, so I changed my platform a little bit uh, kind of recently and sort of did a revamp of it uh, to where I am now addressing sexual assault in pretty much every single area. Um, it's a topic that we've seen that has infiltrated pretty much every area of our country um, from you know middle school to high school to college to the workforce um, pretty much everywhere in between so um, it was important to me to develop a platform that addressed it in all of those areas as well. In order to combat this serious issue Maggie has been highly involved within her community. She not only speaks at various events and schools but just recently lobbied at the Iowa State Capitol talking to various House members, gaining their perspective on why funding cuts have been made in Iowa against sexual assault victims programs. Maggie also combines her love of writing with her platform, creating a blog where survivors of sexual assault can read her content. It's also been one of her primary coping tools. It did not start as a blog for uh, platform purposes. It started as a personal blog that I was, I was a sophomore in college and was just kind of going through a lot at the time and found that writing served as a really great outlet for me. And so I started writing and then I started journaling a lot, just kind of putting everything down. And then I sort of came to find out that uh, through Trauma Queens, which is kind of a branch of my platform, that, you know, using my writing was actually kind of affecting people. And it was something that I felt like I was really making a difference in my own unique way. Maggie's blog focuses a lot on the aftermath of trauma, what you experience, and advice on how to cope. She stated that the coping process is never linear or ending, which may seem daunting to some, yet in her case was very liberating after she began to really work through it. Her advice for other victims? Find some type of outlet, whether that be yoga, reading, painting, running, or maybe even a pageant. You know, it's, this really isn't about me, um, why I compete, it's about being able to be a voice for the people who can't use theirs. And um, that's a lot of people, you know, like there's a lot of survivors out there who feel like they can't share their stories. And their stories are similar to mine and mine are similar to theirs. And so it, it feels like my duty to be able to speak about this because I know how hard it can be to to keep that inside and to not speak about it. So uh, I figure if I have the opportunity to to speak about it and to feel comfortable in that way, then it's it's my job. Maggie Gelson will be taking the Miss Iowa stage by storm this coming June at the Adler Theater located right here in downtown Davenport. To learn more about the Miss Iowa Scholarship Program, you can visit their website, missiowa.com. We wish you the best of luck, Maggie. I'm Savannah Necker. Thanks for watching.